Bart Coppens, you cruel, cruel man. You stepped on a Katie did, and now it's crushed like a pancake. I swear it's not my fault. This is what the species naturally looks like. Very flat. Welcome to a video about one of the unusual Tatijoni day from Brazil, the tree hugging Katie did. It was such an unusual find, I totally had to make a close up in the form of a bug highlight. Let's get started. This is Bert Coppens, and welcome to my bug highlight. First a bit of a disclaimer, I am specialized in moths, but identifying katydids is not my strongest point, therefore I was unable to identify the katydid down to a species level, but I'm pretty confident the genus name in this case is Anonistus tetichonidae. These katydids have incredible camouflage and their mor morphology is quite flat. They often sit tightly against the bark of trees, camouflaging themselves against the surface of tree bark. This is what gives them the name the tree hugging katydid. These katydids seem to be mainly nocturnal and I often encountered individuals attracted to artificial lights in Brazil, suggesting that perhaps the adults fly at night. I looked around in literature in an attempt to find out more about the life history and ecology of these insects. However, the records seem to be quite poor. Generalizing the Tatichonidae group a little bit, it's possible to deduce that they are most likely, like a lot of other katydids, herbivores that from time to time also snack on insects. Looking at the morphology of the species, however, although this is merely a conjecture, I can't really imagine this species actively hunting prey, and I suppose their diet leans more towards plant-based living a well-hidden, camouflaged and mostly herbivorous lifestyle. That being said, until ex actual research is being done, this is just an extrapolation. This insect was documented in Regua, Reserva Ecologica de Guapiatsu. I'm an entomologist photographing and filming all the unusual invertebrates to draw awareness for the natural reserve that is Regua, but also to monitor, archive and document them for conservation purposes. My YouTube channel is demonetized by YouTube. It's difficult to continue this channel without crowdfunding. If you are willing and able, consider donating to my channel so I can continue my work. That being said, only if you are willing and able. Help yourself before you help others. See you in my next rainforest insect highlight. I hope you enjoyed this flat tree hugging Katie did. First a bit of a disclaimer. I am specialized in moths, but identifying katydids is not my strongest point. Therefore I was unable to identify the katydid down to a species level. But I'm pretty confident the genus name in this case is Anonistus tetichon.